Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. So glad you could join me. I'm out here on Lake Ontario. I love this time of year. It's early May. The water temperature is 44 degrees. And today, folks, we're looking for lake trout and or brown trout. And I'm going to be running the American Smell Crankbait. And I've got uh, the gold on today because it's, well, it's kind of partly cloudy, a little sunny. But also the water's a little bit murky. And I like running the gold when the water's a little murky like this and under these little semi-overcast conditions. But I also brought silver purple and silver blue. I might mix things up uh, today. We'll see how the bite goes. But what I'm gonna do today, folks, I'm just gonna flat line, so I'm letting my line out now. Uh, I'm running at about three mile an hour, and I'm gonna keep that pace, and I'm gonna troll along the shoreline, because what happens is the lake trout, uh, they're on the deeper water, of course, in Lake Ontario, but in the spring, they move in close, and they move into the river, up to the Niagara River, uh, and they're coming in to feed. They're coming into that warmer water, and they're looking to feed. And uh, this American smelt crankbait looks like a real smelt. Very realistic looking. Uh, it makes for a great bait fish imitator. And I'm hoping that the lake trout are gonna hone in on that and, uh, and have myself a great day on the water. So this is the technique, just flat lining. I've got no weights on there. That, that uh, American smelt's gonna dive about, uh, about 20 feet. And I like to put about 30 to 40 yards behind the boat and all I'm going to do is this slow troll and I'm going to zigzag a little bit so that my lure kind of goes left and right. Just slow zigzags as I'm slowly trolling along here. And uh, like I say, hoping to have a great day and I'm so glad you could join me. Oh, what a nice hit. Just as I moved, just as I moved in back towards the river, folks, towards the mouth. Whammo, I got my first hit. It's a good one, too. Oh, boy. Now I'm in uh, 25 feet of water. I've been concentrating between 22 and 28 feet. As I said, these American smelts will dive 20 feet. But even in 28 feet, a lake trout will come up, or a trout in general will come up and take that bait. So it's still plenty in the strike zone. But he hit right at 24, 25 feet. So. Now, I don't know if it's a lake trout or a brown trout. But he's staying down there and he feels pretty strong, so it feels like a lake trout. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'll lighten up on the drag a bit. These lake trout are just big, powerful fish. So much fun to catch. Oh. Come on, Mr. Laker. Doesn't feel like a real big one, but boy, is he strong. Oh, 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 there he is, too. Larry the Laker. All right. And I have got my little bass net, folks. So it's going to be a challenge, but you know I love my little bass net. There we go. What a beautiful lake trail. Look at that lake trail, folks. All right, let's get the needle nose. He's hooked just, just inside the mouth with the last hook, so it'll be a nice, easy release. There we go. Oh, there's a nice lake trail right there, folks. There's a nice Lake Ontario lake trail. That's what it's all about right there. Flat line trolling. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get him right back in the water again. See you later, Mr. Lake Trout. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with the gold because like I said, the water's a little murky and it's a little partly cloudy, partly sunny. And obviously the gold is working right now, so uh, why change up? All right, that's the other thing about these rubber nets. It is a little easier, although I'm struggling right now because I'm too excited to get these hooks out of the net. There we go. All right. Needle nose came in handy. Let's fire it up. I've drifted into about uh, 30 feet of water, so I'm going to want to 
get back into those uh, 20s again. But I'm going to troll there, so we'll get the line back out, let it out about another 30, 40 yards, and give it another go. That was great for my first hit. I love it. You know you're in for a great day when you get your second hit, like within 10 minutes of the first one. And it was a solid, solid hit. And he came in 22 feet of water, actually right on the Canadian border, as a matter of fact. Oh, but a good hit that was too. Now I would like to mention as well, a lot of times I go trolling with people and when I'm trolling folks, my rod tip is right here, right down, almost touching the water, just like that. But what I find is a lot of times I'll bring people out and I'll watch them and they're trolling with their rod up here, like this. And the problem is, if you've got your rod tip up like that, you're forcing your lure up high. And that little between here and here could make the difference between catching fish and not catching fish. It makes that much of a difference because if you lift it up just out of their strike zone, you're not going to get any hits. So it's always best, always, always to keep your rod tip pointed right down to the water as you're trolling and maximize the depth of whatever lure you're running. Okay, now as you get closer to the boat, I'm just lightening up on the drag because you got a lot more pressure on your line. When you've got less line out, you've got more pressure. So I definitely want to lighten up on the drag just a bit here. Okay, oh yeah, that's a nice lake throat. Oh yeah, that's a nice lake trout. Not as big as that last one, but what a beauty. They're just beautiful, gorgeous fish. And they are thriving out here in Lake Ontario, just thriving. Okay, he's just full of energy though. I can't really bring him in quite yet. Full of energy. You can see the water's a little bit murky as well. And again, that's why I went with the gold between the cloud cover and the water. If the water was clear, I would have went with a silver blue or silver purple. Okay. I'm going to get my little bass net ready, folks. You know when the bass net comes out, things are going to happen. There we go. Oh, that's another nice lake trout, folks. Just a little bit smaller, but look at the nice coloration on the fins. Nice orange fins. I'm gonna. There we go. He just flopped himself off the hook. That's great. It saves me the saves me the trouble. Okay, let's take a look at this fish. Look at the fins on them. Just nice. Oh, come on, Mr. Laker. They got a nice orange tinge to them. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Really nice lake trout, folks, right here. Beautiful lake trout. Nice colorations. Healthy fish. Look at him. He's full. They're eating. They're eating. They're healthy. That's what you want to see. A nice population of lake trout doing really well. Okay, we're going to get this guy right back in the water again. All right. And away he goes. Oh boy, folks. Flat line trolling. There's not much to it. All you need is a lure, drop it back behind the boat, and start trolling. Very simple way to fish and very effective because you're covering a lot of water and that's what I'm doing today. I'm having myself a great day and I've just started. If you get an opportunity folks, give lake trout trolling a try. Flatline trolling, early spring when they come in closer to, uh, to shore, you can access those fish very, very easily and they're a lot of fun to catch. Thanks ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips and as always folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. I gotta get away from that bell, okay. <laughs>